This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. This just got very uncomfortable. My previous school, when compared to your more conventional learning institutions, operated on a decidedly extreme educational philosophy. As a representative example, an instructor once showed us a plain white cup, loudly insisted that it was even greener than you fresh-faced little poops. He then spent the entire lesson ensuring none of us dared even think otherwise. Those relatively new to the place tended to spend a good deal of time grumbling about how insane all this was. But when the time came and we were dumped out into the field, those who survived eventually came to understand that these hazing sessions were in fact surprisingly meaningful. Please, please tell me how! Point being, what, when you need to produce results that can't be achieved through ordinary methods, sometimes it's necessary to satisfy unfair demands. And, though my steadfast ded through my steadfast dedication to this principle, I currently find myself playing the role of a devoted maid serving a, ca <laughs> a capricious master. Oh, yeah. Coming. As Amine reclines <laughs> indolently on the sofa, I carefully bring over a freshly brewed cup of tea. Since you didn't specify anything in particular, I brought milk tea. Is that acceptable? Well, unlike Sachi, I don't have a fully stocked supply locker. I ran over and borrowed this from Chizuru's room. <laughs> nope! <laughs> no, but that's the price you have to pay for these high-quality Assam leaves. Not easy to get your hands on them lately. Yeah. Compared to something like Darjeeling, awesome tea is pretty strong, both in color and taste. To mellow that out a little, people usually dilute it with some milk before drinking. It complements the flavor nicely. I'm more of a water guy myself. I do drink coffee more often, yeah, but black tends to upset your stomach. And if I'm drinking something other than water, I usually try to get some sugar intake while I'm at it. As a general rule, I tend, to, I tend to drink my coffee heavily sweetened. You're just one of those guys who's so confident in his own masculinity that he does not care if he orders the girl he drinks. <laughs> Compared to the fine calorie ca counting you're always doing, it's hardly worth anything worth mentioning. Hmm... Having declared my willingness to serve in Sachi's place, I've ended up waiting on Amine hand and foot all morning like some kind of personal servant. Who could have guessed that Amine would be the one to abuse this the most? But after the way that conversation went yesterday, I guess I should be grateful she hasn't tried anything seriously shady yet. Alright, Amine, if you've got any other requests, go ahead and tell me now. If you're going to ask me at some point, might as well get it out of the way now instead of later. No. Goodness, Miss Amine, you seem rather fatigued. Do allow me to give you a shoulder rub. Firmly seizing Amine's shoulders as I cut off her sentence, I dig my thumb sharply into the muscles around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> that was so well played, Yuji. Whatever are you saying, mistress? This is nothing but an earnest expression of concern on my part. Thank you very much. I'm literally choking you right now. Amine smirks in evident satisfaction at my submissive words, but soon enough she's squirming underneath my vigorous shoulder rub. Oh, I thought, I thought he was like flat out choking her being like, this ain't gonna happen, lady. Speculating from what I've seen of Sachi's behavior, there seem to be two methods of coping with problematic requests like this one. Either attempt to interject before the words are fully out of their mouth, or deliberately fail to hear them. Of course, I don't think Sachi's consciously trying to be dishonest, but it's a fact that she's managed to slip past some difficult requests by using this sort of plausible deniability technique. But given the absolute nature of the laws Sachi's imposed on herself, careless words without any real malice behind them could easily re lead to disaster. To live a halfway decent life under such restraints, utilizing these kinds of gray areas is probably an absolute necessity. 
お兄ちゃんが何でも言うことを聞くって言ったのをいいことに暴食美人の限りを尽くすあの年上どう思うよそれを言うなら傍若無人だと思うけど<laughs> they're watching me choke Amane and they're just like, they're just having fun. She's probably gonna ask him, like, can you get the latest Tuna Fish Man action figure with titanic elbow thrusts? <laughs> Not that that would do anything. <laughs> From nowhere in particular, there's an outraged burst of protest, followed immediately by the sound of someone scampering up the stairs. Probably safe to assume a certain nosy airhead was observing our little role-playing session from a fixed point in the shadows. I don't like where this sentence is going. Sure, that sounds good. Wow! <laughs> Again, they just keep insulting Michiru in every sentence. Yeah, but it's different. This time we're studying with bread. What is happening? <laughs> wow! I do, as a matter of fact, Aminate. Like, what are you trying to do, game? I know Makina is not the mature, reasonable one. Like, no way. Stop trying to make her that. Well, whatever the reason may be, trying to improve your weakness is an admirable thing. I'll gladly help out. Yoshi! How about just out here? That works too. Wow. Good job, Makina. She actually has rigged a bucket of water to fall on whoever walks in the classroom first. Sounds about right. Although our study session began with this relatively auspicious view uh, show of determination, it was less than an hour before the group's attention began to wander. In the end, I was forced to endure an hour-long session of strip old maid on a whim of Machina's. Uh -huh. Why? Of course not. I, I don't have any old maids in my hand. As we make our way back to the dorm, Amine grumbles a few resentful words, arms folded behind her head. Oh no, you didn't get to see me strip. How cruel the world must be. Any card game comes down to how well you can read your opponents. When you've got the hang of that, the odds of finishing at the very bottom get pretty low. Hey, you guys wanted to play strip old maid. I don't want to strip, therefore you do what you gotta do. Incidentally, Amine, you tend to leave the card you want to get rid of right in the middle of your hand. And Makina, your expression always makes it crystal clear that when you get the old maid. 
あっちゃあ私ってばそんなことになってたんだ At my old school, cards were the most convenient form of entertainment by far. Couldn't help but pick up an eye for the tells. Even after I started at Ichigaya, many of the regular employees I worked with on the job were major poker lovers, including a few who'd throw their car keys into the pot with perfectly composed faces. Wow. <sighs> I'm glad they skipped that part. I mean, she's done that like five times now, so. Personally, I think Sachi's losing streak had more to do with the way you people kept asking her which one's the old maid at the end of the round. <laughs> of course, Sachi would answer with perfect honesty every time, so she invariably ended up with the Joker in the end. Oh, that is bullcrap. She prances around completely naked and shoves her obobs against me at every opportunity, but she's still self conscious about this. Sometimes women are just incomprehensible. I gotta say, Michiru and Yumiko uh, did good on missing out on that. No problems on that count. Might have mentioned this before, but my principle is not to refuse what's offered to me. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why that is. I think it's only natural to get suspicious over the kind of gra 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 gratuitous service. But as a general rule, men tend to enjoy watching their girlfriends strip down to their underwear, and I'm no exception. I bet you the uncensored version, did you actually see the card game? Or maybe not, honestly. Before anyone can respond to Amine's sudden declaration, she grabs Makina's hand and pulls a step ahead of us. Amine recently just learned how to make ants on a log, and they're pretty great. Actually, nope. Oh, you don't see it in, even in the uncensored version. Alright. I mean, I feel like the stuff that they cut from the censored version out of the stuff that I've seen thus far have been kind of weird. Like... It apparently cut out the uncensored or the censored version apparently cut out a part where they make sand castles, but it didn't cut out the part where we see them all in the bath. Granted, we only saw Barbie doll anatomy, but still, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> no, no, Makina's salary is in ants on a log. <laughs> Later. Fine by me. I was sort of expecting you to drag me around all day, to be honest. A date? No problem. Sachi, come to my room. We're watching the Goofy movie. I see. Amine seems well-versed in romantic maneuvering, so if she says so, maybe this is the right timing. Alright, Sachi. How about we go on a date? Goofy movie it is! <laughs> oh shucks. Yes. Watching Sachi squirm, Amine smirks suggestively to no one in particular. From that expression, I'm willing to bet she's plotting something. Better keep a careful eye on that one. Alright, she's gonna spy on us, isn't she? Right. No, don't hit me. No, I don't want to get hit by my girlfriend. Or anyone, for that matter. And with those words, Amine hurries off with Makina in tow. And there they go. Well, guess we may as well go on this date, then. Saji nods obediently, a bright smile on her face. All perfectly typical Saji, but today that very normality troubles me slightly. It makes me wonder if there's really any feeling behind the pleased tone of her voice, if that smile's completely hollow. 
For the time being, let's change out of our uniforms and meet up in the dorm lobby. That's not true. I watched Sachi make her way back to the dorm, trying my best to reassure myself. No, that's... Ah, maid uniform after all, huh? It's the exact same sprite. It would be funny if the sprite actually was just, like, ever so slightly different. Okay, I get it. Actually, I can't see any difference whatsoever, but I suppose I'll have to take the maid expert's word on this one. Right then, as for the plan, we decided this pretty suddenly, so I have absolutely nothing. So for today, I thought we could do whatever you feel like, Sachi. Oh, we're definitely doing Goofy Movie then. That's right. Even if it's cleaning the dorm or bayonet drills, I'm up for it. Whatever you feel like is fine. Sachi places a hand on her cheek, shuts her eyes, and begins to think the matter over. If nothing's coming to mind, you can say so. Come to think of it, you told me the same thing back when I transferred in. When she was a kid, Sachi used to constantly invent new games and drag me into them. It's probably safe to say this is another area of her personality strongly influenced by the trauma that accident inflicted on her. My typical activities basically come down to training and reading. Might be a bit of a stretch to call that a date, don't you think? <laughs> I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. I see. Thanks to JB and Chizuru's incessant grumbling, I had a pretty fixed image of a date at something like dinner at an expensive restaurant with a skyline view. Oh no, those restaurants suck. They, they're all about pricey food that looks pretty and not, like, good food. But Sachi's absolutely right. The important thing is that the experience means is what the experience means to the people involved, not whether it means some meets some arbitrary social societal standard. All right, in that case, why don't you tag along to my training today? Keep in mind, my training's no joke. This may be a date, but be sure to approach it with the utmost caution. Are you ready, Ranger Komane? Ten minutes later, as Sachi holds her rifle, read broom, in the classic shouldering position, I bellow my approval. <laughs> Alright, well done! Also, you will respond to any further orders with an immediate hua! Is that clear? Ranger. Not bad! You squeal a little bit better than your average stuck pig! So we'll be starting today off with a nice easy round of jump squats. You know the drill. Oh, they say you're always prepared, Komine, and it seems like they are right. If you can cut it as a ranger, you have a bright future selling cookies with the Girl Scouts. <laughs> what for the game is actually referencing the Girl Scouts when I just did that as a joke in the earlier videos? In deference to your shrewdness, I'll permit you to substitute the regulation 3.5 kil kilogram rifle for that broom of yours. Alright then, your target for this drill is 30 repetitions! I hear you've been clambering down schoolhouse walls with those legs. Let's see what they can do. This is the best date. After offering her energetic ascent, Sachi shoulders the broom behind her neck, jumps into the air from her low squat, and alternates her leading foot on the way back down. The movements vaguely resemble the well-known Cossack dance, but you need to leap all the way up every time, please. But the need to leap all the way up every time places a severe strain on your lower body. As if to demonstrate, Sachi's movements quickly grow sluggish after her 15th repetition. What's the matter, Ranger Komine? Even a bottle blonde twin tailed pseudo Sundere could struggle for that much. Is that made uniform just for show? Get moving! Oh, look! I knew she was gonna eavesdrop. Hmm? 
I turn around in response to a tap on my shoulder, only to find Amine standing with behind me with an ominous glower on her face. Oh, if it isn't Amine. Weren't you making Machina some ants on a log or something? <laughs> Sorry, we wanted to watch Goofy movie, but the library didn't have it. That's right. Sachi asked me if she could participate in some of my typical activities. Yeah! Yeah! Incidentally, the constant shouting helps develop your abdominal muscles. Makes a surprisingly big difference in the results of any exercise routine, in my experience. Give it a try if you ever get anxious about your waist. Don't follow. Please elaborate. Probably not that many now that you mention it. I get your point, but Sachi did make the request. In other words, in between drills, bend down and whisper loving words in her ear? Something like that? We could do push-up contests in the library. You're a genius, Amine. Hmm. True enough, that sounds a bit more like a date date. Well, a round trip over a one-way rope bridge, followed by a rope climbing session, and probably would have finished things off with a 10-mile rifle run. <laughs> Amine had kept her cool up until now, but my latest response is followed by some violent trembling on her part. Something wrong? Need a bathroom break? Don't let me keep you. <laughs> no. Suddenly exploding with anger, Amine grabs my hand and starts yanking me fiercely alone. Hold on. What are you trying to? Why? Yeah, I get the message, but we can't just leave Sachi training. How are you liking the ants on a log, Makina? Okay, we're gonna pretend that she never just said that. We are going to pretend that she did not just say that. Well, I don't think she's the witch from Hansel and Gretel, so I don't think she'll be eating me, but... Definitely the ribs. Why did you drag me all the way to the roof? Literally, couldn't we have just gone behind a tree or something? After a rough march to the rooftop, I'm forced to sit on my heels under Amine's withering gaze of scorn. I did understand that much, yes. You're basically saying that squat jumping is an inappropriate choice for a first date, right? Maybe you're right. But Sachi seemed to be enjoying it in a way, didn't she? I see. Nice analogy. I get it now. Yeah, 
Well, I was considering inviting her to a meal at first, I guess. Well, he wasn't, that was the problem. How many glowers down at me? Her eyes narrowed in an expression of transparent vexation. Among other fans, this whole date idea was her suggestion. She seems truly and earnestly upset that it didn't go well. You have a point. I might have been taking advantage of Sachi's tolerant nature on this one. And for someone who understands how Sachi's mind works and why, that's, a fun that's fundamentally wrong. Even when it comes down to something as small as this. As she delivers the question in a slightly lowered tone of voice, Amine's eyes bore searchingly into mine. What makes you say that? She's got, a, she's got a cute singing voice. Ami just clears this without so much as a moment's hesitation. There's a flat, matter-of-fact certainty in her voice. In other words, this woman is absolutely confident that she understands me. Guess there's no point in pretending, then. Yeah, I know about the incident that brought Sachi to this school, and I know that about the trauma is that, that's at the root of it all. On the basis of that knowledge, I fought long and hard about what I could do for Sachi as she is today. And ultimately, I decided that becoming a couple would be an essential step in that process. Getting halfway involved isn't going to cut it. The law Sachi's imposed on herself is too brittle and too dangerous for that. You all saw for yourselves what can happen when those shackles bind her too tightly, didn't you? Amine gently closes her eyes and holds her silence for a long moment. And when her eyes open again, they communicate a serious warning. Don't even think about trying to dodge the question. To be completely honest, I don't really know whether I love Sachi or not. But I do know that I was drawn to her, or something she has that I don't. And I was completely serious about choosing her. I shut my eyes and honestly put my feelings into the clearest words I can. After a moment, I hear Amine sigh softly. softly. <laughs> Amine's always approached me with a straightforward affection and kindness. In retrospect, I should probably have done her the courtesy of making this equally clear from the start. What do you mean she's always approached you with a straightforward affection and kindness? She's sexually harassed us on basically every occasion. All right. Mind if I ask you a question of my own? What is Sachi to you, Amine? Once more, her response comes without a moment's hesitation. A friend, huh? As she says those words, there's an almost proud smile on Amine's face. Anyone who saw that expression would instantly know that those words aren't merely polite flattery. Good to hear. I'm all the more convinced now. Mumbling more to myself than Amine, I finally ease off my heels, flopping down cross-legged onto the warm concrete. Well, to put it simply, right now I think Sachi needs people like you more than anything else in the world. Well, that's alright. It's more convenient for me that way. Alright then, it's nothing complicated. Since you called Sachi your friend, Amine, I want to ask you for a little favor on her behalf. That's right. If you really care about Sachi, I want you to keep treating her exactly as you have until now. I don't think anyone in this place, myself included, has had nearly enough of that sort of ordinary in their lives. I'm not trying to say it's as simple as that, but what Sachi needs right now is to realize what she has. My answer's purposefully a bit on the opaque side. 
Not exactly the concrete explanation my, of my plants Amine was clearly looking for. But without a single complaint, she quietly searches for the meaning of those words on her own. Yeah. Thank you, Amine. Hmm? You say something? Alright. I didn't know that because I can't see Yuji's face for 99% of the time. What? I bet you have. Putting a hand on her hip as she speaks, Amine flashes me a smile that's just a little too spirited to be fully convincing. Amine. And what would that be? That was the easiest decision I made. With a little wink, Amine promptly turns on her heel and leaves the rooftop. Look at me. Getting the full kid gloves treatment from a woman. Amine's got a lot more delicacy than you'd guess. And while I don't want to suggest her gender gives her some universal insight into the female mind, she's taught me a lot of things in her role as unofficial ambassador of young women. I smile more often when I'm with Sachi, huh? I hadn't even been aware. But maybe the reason I chose Sachi had something to do with that as well. Either way, I've already found myself indebted to my classmates' insight and kindness. For once, it seems Chizuru's advice may have been genuinely worth listening to. Wow, rude. <laughs> 